I'm Alan Johnson, KU2Y, and this is the CubeSat Sim battery board assembly video. So we're starting with the uh, CubeSat Sim battery board. Uh, this is the version 1.1 board, and uh, I'm referencing the wiki instructions, and uh, I just have here for reference the uh, the step-by-step -step, uh, parts list um, spreadsheet. Okay, so uh, first thing we want to do is uh, is mount the uh, battery holder, and uh, I'm going to build it using the uh, using AA batteries. Um, if you build it using uh, AAA batteries, then you'll just have a different different battery um, holder size. So the um, battery holder is secured using this uh, double stick foam. So I'm just going to uh, cut the foam square in half. And uh, let's see, that one's going to fit there. Looks like this one, I need to make it a little smaller. There we go. And you can also secure it using uh, using plastic screws here. Uh, there are holes on the board for that. All right, so I'm going to peel. Oops, looks like it's in pieces here. Okay, so now I am ready to uh, mount this and then solder it. So I just have to peel backing. Okay, so now I'm going to line it up here. Put the holes through and then lay it on there straight. Press it down securely. Okay. So let's solder it in. Okay, that looks good. So next we need to make up the uh, micro JST cable. So I have two, two of these uh, micro JST uh, pigtails and have one uh, heat shrink tubing. So I'm going to cut the heat shrink tubing in half to give us two pieces. And then I'm going to slide them, slide them over the end. There we go. So they're on there. Just get them out of the way so the soldering iron heat doesn't get to them. And uh, now I just need to uh, just need to solder the uh, red to red 
and uh, black to black. Okay, and we'll just put some solder on each of the wires here. Okay, so we've got the uh, red to red, black to black, and then uh, I can cover them up with the heat shrink tubing there, so they can't, I uh, don't want them shorting out, and I just need to uh, shrink those under my, uh, under my heat gun. So now we're ready to install the uh, stacking header here, the uh, 2x20 pin that we use for stacking. So it is installed on the bottom of the board, you can see by the outline there. So we want to install it here and then we will flip it over. and solder it. Now, there's actually no connections to this, uh, to this board, so there's no point in soldering every pin. Um, it doesn't do anything helpful. So instead, uh, I'm only going to do four, four pins on each of the corners, but I'm just going to do one for starters, just to make sure that it's flat and straight, and one last check that I have it on the correct side here. Yep. Okay, so that's it. So I just did the four corners um, of the board. Doing the, doing the other ones doesn't do anything helpful, and in fact you might accidentally bridge them or you might get solder going up the pins and that could make it harder to, to um, stack the boards. Okay. So we've done our heat shrink, we've done the GPIO, so now we have the micro uh, USB, uh, sorry, micro JST connector. Uh, so we have one more of these, and uh, we need to carefully note the the polarity here. Notice that the slot faces the outside. Um, so we'll put it in there, and use a piece of putty here to. Hold it in place. Okay. All right, that looks good. Okay, and uh, so now we're ready to uh, ready to install the batteries. So 
I take my three. These are uh, nickel metal hydride rechargeable batteries. We don't want to ever use any other type of battery in here, otherwise uh, it could be, could be very bad things happen, given that the charging circuit is designed for uh, nickel metal hydride batteries. Okay, and then finally we just need to uh, secure the batteries in using uh, a zip tie. If we can do it in one zip tie here, let's see. There are two zip tie holes in the, in the circuit board here. Uh, I think it's not quite long enough. The zip tie is long enough, but the teeth aren't there. <laughs> are just too short. So um, for this size zip tie, we can either use two or we can use a, uh, use a bigger one. Try using a bigger one here. Okay. That is good. We just want to tighten that up. And uh, then we can cut off the excess. Okay, so that should be securely held in place. All right, so now the only thing left to do, we should just, uh, now we have the batteries inserted, we should just um, test them to be sure. So I've got my uh, multimeter here uh, on uh, DC volts, and I'm gonna carefully uh, check it here with the uh, battery plus and battery minus terminals here. Uh, as I do this, I wanna be careful not to, not to short them together. So red goes to battery plus, black goes to battery minus, and you see I read 3.85 volts, um, which is good. That says these, these uh, batteries are charged and ready to go. So now we can plug in the uh, micro USB, micro JST connector. And we are all done.